reached, as of this morning, there are more than, I think, 55,000 confirmed corona cases in the country. As the father of three and a husband, uh, what, what is worrying you more than anything? All the uncertainty. We have no information. I mean, there, this is new to everybody, and nobody can speak with any level of, we really don't know the facts. And so we learn new stuff every day. And as a parent, as a citizen, that, that's frightening. Hmm. Hey, Mark, it's Megan. You... Um, I know that you have teenage children, and we have all seen these videos of these spring breakers in Florida partying and saying, if I get uh, coronavirus, I get coronavirus. Uh, kids in Kentucky are having coronavirus parties. Um, why do you think this serious message, for whatever reason, just isn't translating to a lot of, and I've been corrected, Generation Z uh, kids, yeah. not millennials? It, you know, kids are, think they're, you know, nothing can go wrong, that they're they're not vulnerable to anything. And, and I mean, I had to have the conversation with my 16-year-old in particular. I mean, when this all first started happening, I was like, well, I'm going over to my friend's house. No, you're not. Well, they can come over here. No, they can't. You don't understand. And you have to communicate to them and, and really make it clear. And literally, if one of my kids went out there and were partying in spring break, I would walk up to her, bend her over my knee. And I've never spanked my kids ever, ever. And I have never... <laughs> Have any attention doing it, but I would pull down those pants and spank her right in front of all those screen breakers because it is criminal. <laughs> you just can't do it. <laughs> I'm with you on that, Mark. This is Sonny. Uh, you know, and 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 because I have a 17 year old and I had that same discussion with him. You, you can't go anywhere and they can't come here. Um, you know, in January, though, experts were raising the alarm about the coronavirus to President Trump, and and some say that his refusal to respond quickly, efficiently, appropriately enough cost lives, American lives. What are your thoughts about his leadership during this pandemic? You know, I'm not a fan of President Trump's, but I'm not going to rip on him either because any senator could have stood up and said something and screamed loud. Any congressperson could have. You know, nobody did. And so I, I didn't have high expectations from President Trump, but I'm not going to throw him under the bus. I think it was a failure of leadership across the entire political spectrum. Anybody who had access to information that typical citizens, typical Citizen citizens did so. not, could have been screaming loud and clear, and nobody did. And we do know that certain people had information, and they, and they, they, they didn't share it with that. everyone, and they, in fact, may have profited off of it. But Trump's approval ratings matches his all-time high, 49 percent, the yeah. highest mark since he's been in office, actually. And we are, are we maybe underestimating how Americans are viewing his handling of this crisis? No, I mean, look, you know, he's doing the best he can. And here's what I'll say. And again, I'm not a fan of his, but what's real is real. When, when you have imperfect information, you make imperfect decisions. We're not in a ready, aim, fire mode. We're in a ready, fire, aim mode. And, and that makes it tough. And so no matter what he did, it, it, it's going to be wrong for some people. So I think it's the first time we've seen him actually defer to experts at some level. Now, he still goes off on tangents and he still rambles about things like he's prone to do. But, you know, we, we've seen some experts up on the podium. And even though we don't trust him or politicians, he's opened the door for some people we can trust, like a Dr. Fauci, who hopefully will return, and the head of FEMA and the Surgeon General. So he's never done that before, and I think that's been the difference.